Yeah, welcome, welcome. I just got back from my nap. Ooh. 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 Oh. Hi, guys, I'm Austin, and today I'm going to be asking a pretty frequent que ask question. Not really frequent, but, you know, something that people might ask. Well, not that. Uh, what character is better, Freddy or Jason? We've had a movie over that. I'm sure a lot of you have watched it. Right? But yes, this really fits today because I just got a new shirt with Freddy and Jason both on it. It's really cool. So yeah. Uh, huh. So yeah, the criteria for this is I need to get a paper. Yeah, I know I don't need to pause between everything because since we got a new table. Oh my god, I can't find like any open page. Here we go. Hey, you, wanna, you guys want to see Sparky? There's Sparky. It's cutie. Uh, and... No! Ooh, I'm fine. But my criteria is <clears throat> how much they've... I'm just going to write this down. I'll be back. Trust me. Okay, welcome back, guys. To you, it's no time at all, but for me, it was like a couple minutes, actually. Didn't, it just kind of took me a minute. Sparky! He doesn't know where I am. You coming? Okay, welcome back. I'm here. Break it down. <laughs> Alright, today, my, cri my criteria is how much they've influenced the genre, how cool they look. Weapons, how scary they are, and you obviously gotta include how tall they are. No, I'm just kidding. The last one is the kills. Ah, oh. all right. How much they've influenced the drama? We're gonna go Friday. Friday. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I kind of cut out there. Friday first. All right, Friday the thirteenth or Jason influenced the genre by. Just quiet, really quietly coming up and just killing people very, very brutally. A lot of them in the series are really quick. And, and, uh, I have no script right now. If you guys look at my table, no script. Like, no, I have no script. I'm just, like, talking. No script, trust me. This isn't rigged. Yeah, I just said that, and I can already hear rumors spreading right now. But, um, yeah, and, uh, alright, he really quietly comes up just to kill them, and really does it really, either quickly and brutally. If you've seen the 2009 remake, Jason put somebody in a sleeping bag and put him over the fire, which is really scary. Hey, Sparky, you need my monster truck? That's what she said. Alright, sorry about that. Next up, how cool they look. Jason, uh, Jason, in his iconic hockey mask, has been scaring, scaring audiences for more than three decades. Yep. With the original Sean S. Cunningham film, it, film it inspired twelve movies and a reboot, and one of an imposter guy. Mm -mm. Um. How cool. He looks, and Jason X, he looks pretty B.A., pretty cool, very cool, actually. Uh, yeah, hate, hate, hate on me all you want, guys, it's fine, but whatever. Um, how, <laughs> alright, how cool Jason looks. Oh, I just literally said that, he's pretty cool. Uh, and the second one, not so much. I mean, just look at that. But, um, yeah, Jason, pretty cool. Uh, how scary they are. I literally just said that he's, like, he kind of, I, I kind of picture him as a stalker, you know? Like, he knows where they are. He just secretly walks up, kills them brutally. Yeah, 
Axe to the head. No, that was Pamela. Horror expert here, guys. But, yeah, I just did that. And the kills! I freaking just said that one, too. Brutally, uh, he has a machete. Iconic. You know? Very, 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 very cool. He really doesn't kill everybody with his machete. He kills somebody, like... I, think, I saw this one where he kills somebody with, um... With a, uh... With, like, an arrow to the eye or something. So that's pretty cool. Alrighty, guys, now on to Freddy Krueger. Alright. Nightmare on Elm Street was released in 1984, directed by Wes Craven. So, yeah. Alright, I didn't say that about Friday. Friday the 13th was released in 1980 by Sean S. Cunningham. I guess I didn't know that. Okay. How much did Freddy influence the genre? He has been, like, terrifying teenagers and kids and even adults to go to sleep because of that movie. Thanks, as always, Wes Craven. Dude, Freddy yeah. is a complete bad butt dude. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, he is just... That's really long arms, and if you, there's this one shot in the original where he just like stretches out all of his arms. Welcome to prime time. Ha. Yeah, Jason does it better than me. Um. So, Freddy, he has a great sense of humor. Robert Englund, amazing actor. Uh, question of the day. No, I'm not gonna do it. Um, the weapons. Freddy Krueger's weapon is a glove, as you can see right here. Uh, Sparky, hey buddy, I'm doing a video. You want to be in it? Ah, there we go. All right. So yeah, he has <laughs> he has a glove, sharp glove, a really very sharp glove. Ooh. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. I just killed you. <laughs> but yeah. Very cool. Next app. Boop. Uh, how scary he is. As I said, he has been terrifying people to go to sleep for ages now. The kills. Dude, his kills are solid. Especially that one in, I think it was Dream Master. Part 3 where he's like, sorry kid, I don't believe in fairy tales. Harry Potter's brother just died. <laughs> Alright, everybody, that's gonna be the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, you guys like my shirt? Here, I'll show you again. Yeah. If you guys like my shirt, say so in the comments. Jason, if you're watching this, I was going to get you one. But it didn't have another, it didn't have the same size that I had. It didn't have the same two sizes. Same sizes twice. So yeah, if you guys like it, please make sure to leave a like. And no, this is not just for a limited time. I'm keeping this. I'm going to be wearing it in a lot of videos. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, and stay awesome. Bye-bye. Oh, hold on. Not yet. Don't leave. Uh, the a &T show, I see that a lot of you guys really like it. Yes, Tevin is coming over today. Yes, we're doing the a &T show. Yes, I have a list of ideas for the a &T show. And let me show you something else here. All right. ripped off something. I have... Yeah, it's ready. I got a whole freaking booklet of ideas. I got a new Paul Menard for Ready to Race. So, yeah. Uh... Let me flip to the page. Here. I got a lot of bad drawings in here. Not, like, inappropriately bad. I got, like, a whole... Look. Look. All right. YouTube ideas. 1 to 13. Next page. 14. 
14 to 23. And next page, 24. 24 to 34. And yes, we're doing all of them. 35 to 43. 44 to 40. 44 to 52. 53 to 62. And 63 to 75. 76 to 87. 88 to 98. And uh, 99 to 101. Yep. Over 100 ideas, everybody. So... Yeah, very, very nice. I'm really happy. So, and just like a couple weeks ago, I was like, guys, I'm running out of ideas. I need help. But now I got like a whole booklet of ideas. So, lucky you. <laughs> um, now, I've heard us a little talk going on around our channel. What are we going to be doing for a one-year bash? We will announce that at the 9 o'clock live stream today. So, yeah. Oh, I'm going to be showing my yearbook in the next video. So be on the lookout for that. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Like, subscribe. Obviously, stay awesome. Be good people. No, I'm just saying. I'm just kidding. We, we don't end off with that. Alright, like, subscribe, stay awesome.